Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a beautiful princess. Her skin was white as snow, her lips were red as roses, and her hair was black like the night. Her name was Snow White. Servant! Servant! Yes, Your Majesty. Call Snow White now. Snow White? Your Majesty, what like to have a word with you? All right, I'm coming. Yes, Mother. Your dad is traveling today overseas, and it's going to be a long time. You won't see him. Is he or no? Father, father. Yes, my sweetie. What your mother said is true. India is far away and it might take a couple of months. Oh, Dad, I'm going to miss you. Please take me with you, please. Ah, oh, sweet stone. It is not possible, but I promise you one thing. A gift? Yes, a special gift from a far east. Oh, Dad, please do stay long. Snow White had a beautiful but proud stepmother, who was a witch. Every day she stood in front of magic mirror and asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the first of us all? The mirror used to answer, You are O Queen. As the day went by, Snow White grew older and prettier, and her father wasn't home yet. One day, the the stepmother asked the question. Mary Mary on the wall is the first of us all. But the mirror replied, You are beautiful, but Snow White is the fairest of them all. This white thing is more beautiful than me? Servant? 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 It's your majesty. Servant, I need the guard quickly. As you wish, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Take Snow White to a trap in the woods. I am afraid I don't know what you mean, Your Majesty. Kill her, you idiot, kill her. Or you will never see your wife and children again. As you wish, Your Majesty. Snow White, Snow White. Oh, hello. Come to see my friend, Miss Little Bunny. Oh, you like and not come with me to walk on the woods. We see my friend is there. The queen won't eat me. Oh, don't worry. She said it's fine. Fabulous. Let's go. Oh, that's really amazing. I've never been here before. Oh, look at one. Snowy? Yes. Now listen to me, Snow White. I am really sorry. But I have to kill you. What? You're kidding, aren't you? The guard took pity in, on Snow White. Your stepmother ordered me to do so, but I can't go, run away. Why? Where should I go now? I don't know. Keep walking. I must but I tell her I killed you. I'm so scared. Help! Help! Snow White finally saw a strange house in the, in the middle of the woods. The house belonged to seven dwarves. Why do you look so miserable? Oh, poor Snow White. What happened to you? Come in, come in. The kind words heard her story and said, You can live with us, Snow White. Thank you. I can take care of you. So every day when the dwarves went off, uh, off into the forest to work, Snow White stay, stayed back. In the, in the meantime, the wicked stepmother uh, angrily asked the mirror the question. Mirror on the wall? Has the first was all? You are still fair, but none to Snow White can compare. Deep within the forest glen, there she stays with seven little men. What? Yes, Your Majesty. 
Where is this night? She died. You ordered me to kill her, Your Majesty. You lied to me first. You think you deserve to die? That damn girl is still alive. I will go and kill her myself. The furious queen decided to go to the forest and kill Snow White. She disguised herself and, oh, and an old woman selling apples. They filled a basket with poisonous apple and went uh, to the dwarf's house. Uh, the minute the queen left the palace, the king arrived. Hello? Oh, Your Majesty, we come back. Where are the queen and the princess? Her Majesty has, has just left the palace. Her daughter has disappeared. Disappeared? I must go and find out what happened. was scared to open the door to the strangers, but the woman pleaded. Good morning. Do you buy some of these wonderful apples? They are very sweet and tasty. Um, the dwarf would love to have added the snack. Okay, come on. Snow White couldn't resist. She took an apple, put them in the minute, she, uh, she put into the poisonous apples, she fell uh, to the ground. The evil queen ran away laughing wickedly. Look how big and round and great. They are, they are delicious. Shocked to see Snow White lying like she's like she was dead. Oh my God! Oh my God! She's dead. Really? Can't you see her? Oh my dear Snowy, we must give her some honor. They put her in a glass case and sadly sat around her. Just then, a prince rode by. He saw the beautiful Snow White. In, in a case and fell in love with him. Oh, what an angelical face. What happened to her? Why she's like, like this? She's dead. Still young and sweet. She doesn't look like she's dead. I am sure she's sleepy. Hey, don't touch her. <laughs> he leaned over and kissed her. And at the moment, the evil queen watched the magic spell was, was broken as Snow White awoke. Allow me, young lady, to help you. Nothing. What's happened, dwarves? Oh, sweet snowy, here you are. Thanks God you're safe and sound. Oh, Dad, you finally returned. What are you doing here? Who are these gentlemen? These are my friends, dwarves, who saved me when the Queen wanted to kill me. And this man is... Um... Your Majesty, it's my honor to meet you and to meet your daughter. My name is William, the Prince of Pennsylvania. Oh, he's a prince. He's a perfect match. She was dead. He saved her. She's alive. Let's have a party. Mm -hmm. The dwarves were overjoyed and danced in glee. The prince and Snow White were married and lived happily ever after. Hello, my name is Maya. I am the queen. Hello, my name is Alin. I'm Snow. Snow White, my Majesty. Father, father.
Okay, we have to stop the filming. You are still fire, fair, but. Shen. One. She doesn't look like she sleep. She. How she sleep? Good morning. Do you buy some of these wonderful apple? They're very sweet and tasty. Um. <laughs> Where are the apples? 